discipleship to me it means calling people to Christ and working with them, mentoring them until they become Christ-like. I have seen God work through my local church in the U.S. and World Partners. I was living here in Ecuador. I grew up here. I grew up as a Christian, but had grown very rebellious against the church. But I was still involved in some ministries, and that is how I got to meet with the people from Epic Church. I decided to go to the States, and I was there with them for four years. God made it really clear that He wanted me to come back to Ecuador, to do the same that Epic had done for me, to do that here with the people that I knew, that I loved, that were in my life, and that they didn't know Jesus. So that is where World Partners came. And it was so wonderful to see that even though we were separate organizations, we spoke the same language. They showed me what it was like to have relational discipleship, to have someone invest in you, to become your friend, to become your family. They showed me what it meant to know Jesus, be a disciple, but also be a disciple maker. I ended up getting the contact information for Dave Mann of World Partners and uh, talked to him on the phone. And in the course of our conversation, he says, hey, there's this opportunity. Steve and Sheila Harrigan in Fort Wayne, Indiana are working with refugees. And as soon as he said it, I mean, I just, I was just, I knew right away that this was something that the Lord was putting together. And the groups we were working with were the some were the Bur Burmese Muslims, and there's lots of different groups, obviously. And you have the Somalis up in Minnesota, yeah. and it's just, but the the Lord is just like opens these doors of opportunities for not only missionaries now, but for churches to say it, it can be something as simple as driving down the street. In that time, you guys came into a community that was really strong Muslim, and yet you shared the gospel, had a couple girls pray to receive Christ. And so now this is something that the Lord is laying on our heart, saying this isn't something that you just do once a year um, or once every other year. This is something that's in your backyard that I want you to be focusing on consistently, taking advantage in the sense of the nations coming to us as they are. God has taken this little thing and sparked now a fire. And so that can happen anywhere. That can happen with any church in any community. And so that's what's so exciting about what God is doing in missions today, locally. And I started thinking and uh, knowing that it is the Great Commission. That is the only thing that God, that Jesus has left us with. And that is the mandate that he has given to the church. And that is uh, the, the, the opportunity, the privilege that Jesus has given us to go and make disciples. And uh, I thank God because of uh, uh, the support that uh, World Partners is, 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 is giving to us, the launching movements, and uh, especially training key leaders and bringing them together and uh, coaching them because it's been uh, a great help.